I'm interested in primal spirituality. Primal spirituality. We actually have courses in primal spirituality here at Sunrise Ranch. And what is it? The word primal might make you think of something primitive, but that's not really what the word means. The word primal is from Latin, prime. It simply means first. First, spirituality. Original spirituality. It is the truth behind all the faiths in the world. At the root of it, it is what the founder of those true faiths knew. And it is the truth behind us. What we were born into the world with, it is our first spirituality, not the one we were taught, if we were taught one, but the one we were born with, the, the one that we all have, and in fact, that we share in common, primal spirituality. All true faiths, all true faiths sought to bring an end to human superstition. Have we as a culture emerged out of superstition? Probably not. <laughs> there are certainly evidences of superstition, despite the best efforts, despite the best efforts of people like Abraham in the Bible, and Moses, and Jesus himself, who did all they knew how to do to bring people out of an experience of superstition into something else. And what was the something else they sought to bring people to? What is the antidote to superstition? You might say it's Knowledge. Knowledge. Now, the word for it would be truth. The scientific rev revolution attempted to take people away from superstition to a more practical scientific approach to life. And so the study of the physical sciences and the development of the scientific method really assisted Western culture and then world culture to move out of superstition, to become wise, eventually to help us get our hands on technology, brought us to the current day where we have knowledge of a sort. We have computers with storage devices that can carry unthinkable amounts of information. And then we've developed artificial intelligence that can access that information. But <laughs> has that brought us as a human family into a place of knowing truth, of truly being wise? Jesus, who sought to bring people out of superstition, had this a very amazing saying, amazing saying, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. There's a discussion of freedom. The freedom to do what? Set you free. Well, we could think of being free from things, free of involuntary servitude, free from persecution. Our Bill of Rights in America talks about our freedom to do things, our right to do things, our right to assemble, our right of free speech, our right of the practice of the religion of our choice. So possibly what Jesus was speaking of, this freedom he was speaking of, related to those things or included them. 
I want to suggest a larger freedom that would include all those things and far more. It is the freedom to create. And you shall know the truth. And that knowing will set you free to create. There is a spirituality for today that doesn't shun science, but knows that there's far more to science than has yet been discovered. This is our primal spirituality, our first spirituality, and it is the spirituality that's called for to today. 